So, just another quick video about the merge effects that was added to a recent version of Virtual DJ, which was built 6878 a couple of weeks ago. And what are those? Well, like the name says, they're merged effects. But why were they added? Well, they were really added because the uh, Pioneer DDJ FLX6 has merge effects which were never mapped in Virtual DJ by default. You had to do that yourself if you're using the uh, Level X6. So now they've been added and it's clearly been done to support uh, Level X6. So uh, that's, that's all good and fine. But uh, the funny part is that it's actually been done as a regular effect, which means that even though you don't own an Level X6, you can still use it if you want to. So uh, to do that, you of course go into where you always get your effects here under extensions and under effects, audio effects, and you put in merge, and there it is. And as you can see, uh, I've already installed it, so it says uninstall, but if you hadn't, you need to click install right here. <clears throat> and then there are the controls here. So of course you go down here and you select it, and then you get it just like any other effect. So what you can you do, you can turn it on and off, like you would expect, you can change its strength, and you can pick a slot. And uh, it actually just have the four slots, the four predefined stacked effects with release effects. So that's what you can select here. Slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. So not really as intuitive as four buttons, but it'll be okay. And then you have uh, the strength, and that's actually a, a bit worse because uh, it's an encoder knob on, uh, on the actual box. So that just spins forever. But that means that, uh, that here in the GUI, it really only makes sense to go for between 12 o'clock and full on. The other direction will do the same thing, so no need to go there. And uh, you need to remember to reset it to 12 o'clock when you change the slot, or you want to re re uh, reuse modes effects, or it'll just get weird. That's not a problem at, on the actual physical box, but here in the GUI, where we don't have this uh, this this encoder kind of now will need to do that. Um, so that's basically it. So that's what it can do. So it should then, uh, if you want to enable it, it shouldn't do really anything. And then you put, uh, go the strength of between 12 o'clock and full arm uh, to get the effect, the stacked effects. And then when you click it off again, you get release effects, which can, which can also be a sample and stuff like that. So let's try uh, testing it and see what it sounds like. So now it's in slot four. So uh, let's try playing the music. Turn on the effect. And and release. And then it also stops the track. So that was slot four, and like I said, it's predefined. You can't do anything except just use it. And like I also said, Remember to click this back to 12 o'clock. Then let's listen to slot three. So that's another stacked effect and another release effect. So play again. stops the track. So that was slot three, three the, the combination of slot three. And we must reset. Slot two. Listen to that. And finally, slot one. So that's basically all four slots. So that's uh, the stacked uh, or merged effects, if you want, 
including the release effects. And those are just the ones that are there. You can just choose them and change, uh, uh, change them up by using the strength and then enabling and disabling them. Um, and like I said, it's a little bit harder to do here in the GUI or if you use some kind of, uh, of, of controller where you map this because it, uh, it needs to be mapped uh, for, for the actual, for actual buttons and an actual encoder knob for it to be as good as it is on the FLX6. Uh, but if you have other ones, you can still use it like I just saw in this video. Just need to be a little bit more careful.